welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlogmas video okay today i wanted to talk about this weird ai app that has been going around everywhere a lot of my friends are doing it on instagram i caved in and i did it myself which i'll talk about in a second but i haven't seen a lot of other people talking about this yet so i just wanted to talk about my thoughts about this app and show you the pictures that it generated for me okay so there is this ai app going around it's called lenza ai i will link it down below if you want to check it out for yourself and basically this is an ai app which I assume is being used for facial recognition software or deep fakes or like I'm sure that it has some nefarious purpose allegedly that is my opinion maybe I need to say that for legal reasons but that's kind of my approach to anything like this where it wants you to upload your face to an app or to a program usually it seems like what they're doing with it is they're harvesting your data to use for facial recognition software or something to that effect so obviously generally that's not great people are just giving away their data for free to some program nobody reads the terms and conditions so who knows what they're doing with it but it gets people interested because it's a cool interesting app that generates some sort of cool picture so I fully understand like the ethical concerns and like the privacy concerns with something like this. However, I did it anyway. So I'm here to talk about my experience with it. So like I said, I've seen this app going around on Instagram and initially I wasn't gonna do it because of all of the reasons that I just explained. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to say is that some of these other programs that have been around in the past, like usually what it is is a free program. You submit your photos and then they generate something for you and you get your thing and it's all free. This app is actually $3.99 to generate 50 images. So not only are they harvesting a bunch of data for free, we're actually paying to give them our data, which is kind of crazy and like smart marketing on their part. that They're getting people to do this. But anyway, initially I was apprehensive and I wasn't going to do it. And then I was hanging out with my friends over the weekend and we were talking about it. And the first night we were like, oh yeah, we're not going to do that. Like we're too smart for that. And then the second night, one of my friends was like, okay, I did it and it's really cool. And he was showing us all the photos and then the rest of us were like, okay, we wanna do it, it's really cool. So we all did it. It is an interesting program. So you open it up, you have to sign up for a free trial, which I recommend making yourself a calendar reminder or something to delete your free trial. Cause I think it's really expensive if you forget to cancel it, but you can make a free trial and then you can upload 10 to 20 images of yourself to the app and then you pay $3.99 and it will generate 50 images. And you can pay more also if you want more images, but all of us, we just did like the $3.99 one that gives you 50 images. So you do that, it takes a while for it to kind of generate them. And like, I don't really know how all of this stuff works. Like I don't know anything about algorithms or AI. Like I know a little bit from a previous job that I had, but like not anything in depth. But I guess my thought on it is that what it does is it takes all the photos of you and it looks at like the angles that you submit and it matches them up with some other images that it already has in its system. And I, I'm, the reason I think that is because when we all were looking at our images, there's some of them that are like definitely reused, like very similar. So I think it has a bunch of templated images and then what it's doing is just putting your face on it based on the angles and like the photos that you give it. And some of them are more successful than others, which you will see in a second because I'm going to show you guys all of the ones that it did for me. Some of them came out really beautiful, like they look exactly like me, they look like beautiful works of art, and other ones came out looking very freaky. The other thing that I thought was really interesting with this app was the way that it rendered my tattoos. I was talking about this with one of my friends who's more into and like has more knowledge about AI and data collection services and stuff. And he said that his theory is that apps like this don't get a lot of tattoos as like a stimulus put into the app. And so when it does get tattoos, it doesn't really know how to interpret them or like what to do with them. So I thought that was really interesting based on the way that my tattoos came out in this software. So that's like a little bit of a backstory about this app. Like I said, I'm not an expert on AIs or anything. I'm sure there are other videos on YouTube that where somebody can tell you everything about how this works and why it's bad and why you shouldn't do it. And like, I'm not here telling you that you should do it. I'm just telling you my experience because I did it and I went from being against it to actually doing it. So 
With all of that being said, I do want to show you the images that it came out with for me because some of them are really cool and some of them are really weird. Okay, so I'm just going to record my phone screen and then I'll put it next to me so you guys can see. And we're just going to go in the order that these generated. So this is the first one. This is interesting. I don't really think that it looks like me like I see elements of my own face in this but I don't really think it looks like me definitely not the hair some of the face but not quite it's like close but not quite this one's a bit better I think this does look a bit more like me this one again it's like I see it kind of but I feel like it's not quite right this one I think does look more like me this is the first one where I was like okay like it definitely it's doing something here Again, this one, I feel like it's a little bit off. I don't know. But all of these, as you can see, they have the same sort of like style to them. So I don't know if these are like iterations of the same sort of thing. I'm not sure, but they all look kind of similar to me in like the art style. These ones are kind of weird. So these ones to me look very like I mean the face on this is just really kind of melted and like the proportions aren't right like the nose definitely has something weird going on I don't know why there's a second image of it over here the t-shirt is weird the hair I don't know like this I don't think this looks like me and a lot of these next ones look very like Asian influence like you know the way that a lot of Asian characters will be drawn sometimes I think that the face shapes in some of these come off looking like a different ethnicity than me. There's nothing wrong with that, it's just not what I look like, I don't think. This one too, like I, I kind of can see the idea, but it doesn't really look like me, it's kind of strange. This one also has an interesting, like, interpretation of my tattoo. So that's interesting to see. Again, this one, it's just like really creepy, I don't think it really looks like me. Something about the mouth and the jaw is just not right. But this one, again, it did something pretty interesting with my tattoos. Like, I have this, like, rainbow wash sleeve, which looks nothing like my real tattoos, but it, like, tried to put them in there. This one, I think, is one of the best ones with the tattoos. I have this tattoo of, like, a wreath around my neck. So I feel like this one has at least attempted to preserve, like, the leafy elements. Although it also gave me this interesting armband, which I don't have. The hair is pretty good on this one. This, again, I think this is one of the ones that's, like, a recycled image. Because see how one of the eyes is kind of green and the other one is blue? That was the case for all three of us when we did this app together we got generated an image very similar to this all of us and it all of, and all of them have like the one green eye and the one blue eye so that's pretty interesting too this one doesn't look like me and actually this is a good time to point out when you upload your pictures into the app you have to also select your gender so your choices are either male female or other and it was interesting when i did it with my friends because i picked female one of my friends picked male and then my other friend picked other. So it's interesting to see the way they render these. And when you pick female, I noticed that a lot of them have very prominent, very large breasts, even though like the photos that I picked, like mostly don't show my cleavage at all. These photos all, like many of them have really, really large breasts. So that's really interesting. And it, also the masculine ones are very like, buff muscular like even though you know a particular person might not look that way like they really insert that in so there's a lot of like very stereotypical gendered elements to these photos and i think this obviously demonstrates that this one's kind of similar again i have these like armband tattoos this algorithm really wants me to have armbands this one's freaky i think it looks enough like me to look like me but like there's something wrong with the eyes like the eyes look kind of robotic and creepy this one again big boobs my boobs don't look like that i wish they did and again this one i feel like the face is okay like we're getting there this one again it has like the one green eye and the one blue eye this is a very common one that i've seen iterated and like a lot of people that have done this like most people get some version of this image with this background so that's pretty interesting. I think the face on this actually does look quite like me, but the eyes obviously don't. Weird. No. 
this one. One of the most interesting like compositions, but I don't think it looks like me at all. It kind of looks like like a perfect face or like a face where they just like flipped it where it's exactly symmetrical or something, but doesn't look like me. I think it's very pretty, but not like me. Okay, this one, you guys, look at these eyes. Like sometimes the app just glitches or something and it creates these very like melted off looking features. So like my eye here looks like it's closed and open at the same time, which is really weird. I have this mole next to my mouth that I don't have. Like this had so much potential, but it turned out so weird. This is one of my favorites. I think this one actually does look like me. Some of these, it's like, I feel like I look so beautiful. And then the other ones, I just feel like I look weird and like they don't look like me at all. So I don't really know how it generates. Like, I don't know what it's doing in the background to make some of them look good versus ones that look weird or bad. But this one I like. This is kind of cool. This is probably a good time to talk about the hands. I know that some people have commented about how this algorithm like is really bad at drawing hands, which is probably related to the fact that human beings are generally kind of bad at drawing hands, like hands are really difficult to draw. So I think that up until this point, none of the images we've seen have had hands in them, or if it has, it's like they're kind of tucked out of the way where they don't have to be detailed. These ones aren't terrible, but like they're definitely not drawn out like to the level of detail that everything else is. So that's interesting. That will come up again, I think. Yeah, this one, same weird eyes where like one eye is closed and like melting off my face. There's a weird like hole in the middle of the hand. And then also with the boobs, very interesting. This is one that I really like. I think this is really pretty. No tattoos in this one. I guess I should say like some of the pictures I submitted, some of them you can see my tattoos and some of them you can't. So I guess it just kind of interpreted them in different ways based on what photo it was using. This is one that I think looks more definitely Asian or like I kind of look like a K-pop girl or like an anime character almost. Like there's definitely some Asian influence in the way the face is formed in this one, I think. And I don't know what this other like secondary little character is supposed to be, but this is an interesting one. The hair is cute in this one. Okay, this is definitely the one that did the best with my wreath tattoo. The face is really bad, but like my tattoo, at least my wreath tattoo looks good. My other tattoos, there was an attempt. I actually don't have both of my arms tattooed, only one. So it's interesting that it gave me both. And my necklace, it got pretty well too. This one, again, I don't know what this little secondary person is, but this one looks very anime to me like if I was a character in an anime I think I would look like this but also like look at these hands like there's no definition between the fingers the fingers are too short there's no fingernails really this hand is just like lost in oblivion this one again it's cute I think it kind of looks like a cartoon um the glasses are kind of like melting off in one part but overall I think this one looks pretty accurate if I was a cartoon this one, again, weird. It's very anime looking. The tattoos are weird. The boobs, the face is not my face shape at all. And then I don't know who this guy is, but he's here too. This one is very pretty, but I don't think it looks like me. I mean, the blonde hair, the eyes, the face shape, the necklace slash tattoo, like it's pretty, but I don't think it looks like me at all. This one, the eyes, very creepy, very weird. Tattoos, again, interesting. They kind of tried to make it look like, almost like a bird or something. This one I think looks pretty accurate to my face. I don't know, you guys can be the judge of that. The nose has something going on. There's like a little mountain here on the middle of my nose, but overall I think the face looks pretty good. And the hair. This one looks very like robotic to me. Like I look like an AI person, but and the mouth is a little weird, the eyes are kind of dead, but this one made my tattoo really look like birds, which is pretty interesting to me. So again, this one looks like me, but it's like a little bit off. Like you can definitely tell that it's not quite right. Same thing here, this one reminds me of the other blonde one. Like it's not really my face and the tattoos are interesting. I have like a golden armband looking thing. So again, pretty, but not really me. This is one of the best ones, you guys. This is so pretty. It's giving Ophelia dead in the lake, but also I love it. The tattoo that it made for me is so pretty. Like, I don't know what this is, but I would get this tattoo. Very interesting. This has to be based on some kind of botanical drawing or something, because it's so pretty. 
And then there are a couple more in this series that are kind of like similar to this, but they're all worse. <laughs> like that was the best one. This one is okay, but the eyes are a little off. This one, the eyes are really weird. Like the, the eye that's further away is like the white of the eyes in the middle, which is weird. So it's pretty, but like when you start looking really close at it, it's kind of looks like unsettling. Same with this one, the same weird thing with the eyes. And this one, again, when you first look at it, you're like, oh, it's so pretty. But then when you zoom in, it's like I have a double face, like almost like the thing behind me is a mirror. And the hand in this one is really interesting. So like the hand looks pretty decent when you just first glance at it. But then you notice the pinky finger is like way too long, like disproportionately long. And also the position of this arm is physically impossible. Like this would have to be my right arm but in this photo it's portrayed as a left arm, so it's like a backwards arm, which is kind of creepy. But yeah, the hands aren't terrible with this one. Okay, this is another one of my favorites. I think it's like really pretty. I think it pretty much looks like me too. Like the eyes are normal. I don't know, a little sexy, a little pretty. This one, again, one of my friends said that he thought this was based on a photo of Kristen Stewart. Apparently there's like an iconic photo of her that looks like this. I don't really know about that, but that was his thought. Again with the boobs. Again, I have this mole next to my mouth that I don't have in real life, but I think this one is not too bad. This one is cute, but again, I definitely look a little anime in this. They did this interesting like little blue looking flower. This one, same thing. I feel like this one and this one are like concept art from the same universe or something, but they don't quite look like me. This one, again, very interesting attempt at dealing with the tattoo. It's like a green flower thing. The eyes on this are like a little bit too big and round for my face, but I see where it's coming from. This one looks like an oil painting, so pretty. There's a couple of these that look like paintings. This one, this is my favorite, favorite one. Like I would pay an artist to paint something of me like this and it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. This is my favorite one. I think it looks like me. I think the style is really pretty. Love, love, love. This one, very similar, except I have short hair. This is definitely one I've seen repeated with other women that have done this. They get this rendering that's like an oil painting with very short hair. So this is definitely a templated version. Another one that looks like a painting. All of these, the boobs are so prominent. I don't have boobs like that, but okay. And then this one also looks like a painting. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last one. So again, like, I think it kind of looks like me. There's something a little bit off. I do like the style. Like, I think this last group of them that are all very, like, oil painting looking are definitely my favorites. This one is the best. Definitely the best. But yeah. Overall, it turned out pretty interesting. So this is a really interesting program. Like I said, I know that there's tons of like ethical concerns and privacy concerns about apps like this and what they're really doing with your data. In addition to giving you cool pictures, like what else are they using it for on the back end? But I just wanted to show you guys my pictures and talk about my experience using the app. If you guys have tried it, leave me a comment down below to let me know if you got any of like the same similar looking images or like if you're not trying it tell me why i would love to have a conversation with you guys in the comments but thank you so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow for another vlog bye